Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. We continue the 13 Nights of Halloween with a little double feature, actually. Disney Plus released two shorts. Well, they're about 45 minutes each. We have a new Star Wars special, Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales, and Muppets Haunted Mansion. First, with the Lego Terrifying Tales, it takes place after the Rise of Skywalker, where Poe and BB-8 land on Mustafar, and uh, they see that Grabala the Hut, who's another Hut, is gonna turn Darth Vader's castle on Mustafar into a hotel. And Grabala the Hut is voiced by Dana Schneider, and it's really funny to hear that voice in the. Star Wars universe. He is the voice of Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, of course. And it's basically um, about it's like different uh, like stories being told. Like the plot isn't that important, but it is canon. It involves that uh, there's this little kid named Dean who. Uh, Kabbalah the Hut, I guess, has working for him, and they find a, a Sith holocron, so while the story's happening, they tell these, like, stories, one of them is about, like, Darth Maul and General Grievous trying to find a holocron, and it's pretty funny because they show Darth Maul getting new sets of legs and talking about how would you survive getting cut in half and all that and once again just makes fun of Star Wars just like the Christmas special from last year and another story talks about like Ben Solo becoming Kylo Ren it actually explains the Knights of Ren and things like that and shows how or like why he's called Ren and like things he has to do, so it actually gives more backstory to the Star Wars movies, especially the sequels that Disney made. But once again, it they're really funny and silly and perfect for kids and stuff. Oh yeah, and Christian Slater is the voice of Ren, and it's basically like making fun of the Lost Boys, like it's hilarious. Christian Slater's character Ren has the hair that Kiefer Sutherland had in The Lost Boys. Oh, and the final one is the Wookiee's paw. It explains how, like, oh, you shouldn't want to get everything you ever wanted, and it shows if Luke Skywalker, like, got every wish he wanted, and eventually becomes, like, a Sith Lord and stuff. But, of course, with, like, the Wookiee's paw, like, you get your wish, but it's not always how you want it to turn out. So this was a very fun little short Definitely worth watching, especially if you like Star Wars and don't like, I guess, the Disney versions, like the Disney sequels, or even, like, like making fun of Star Wars, because that's what a lot of these Lego shorts have done, but in a fun way. Right now, I would rate Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales, give it like a 3.5, maybe leaning toward a 4 out of 5 burgers, because it's... Like I said, it makes fun of Star Wars, has some pretty clever other parodies and inside jokes. It's perfect for adults who have seen every Star Wars and kids who are like Lego and Star Wars as well. Alright, next we go on to the Muppet Haunted Mansion. Gonzo and Pepe the Prawn are on the way to a Halloween party and their, I guess, car breaks down and they end up at the... A Haunted Mansion, of course, it's like the Disney ride, and it also kind of tells the story of the Haunted Mansion, because when you go on the ride and all that, there is a story to tell. Now, this was also about like 45 minutes or so, and it's interesting that it stars Pepe the Prawn, because not a lot of movies and things have starred him, even, of course, he's a Muppet character. It has famous actors in it, like Brendan Yuri, Taraji P. Henson, Will Arnett, and other people here and there as, like, the various characters from the ride. 
like, yeah, they make a lot of, like, puns and things and the classic Muppet humor, but at the same time, this Haunted House, I mean, Haunted Mansion short was, I thought it was kind of boring, honestly, like, like, I don't know who they were aiming it for, because for adults, it's very kind of bland, I would say, it's, and kids may like it, but, I don't know, I thought it was, like, really boring, and, yeah, of course, I'm a 32-year-old person reviewing a, a Muppet short, but Muppets have always had, like, a sense of humor for all ages. Like, yeah, Taraji P. Henson is, like, the crazy ghost bride and stuff like that, and Will Arnett is, like, the, the butler. But other than that, it was... I was bored by it, and I think kids might be, too? Yeah, I'd give the Muppets Haunted Mansion... Give it, like, a one and a half out of five burgers, because it... Muppets have done a lot better, and this was not it. Alright, we'll be back soon with more Halloween movies. I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.